best for soil. Solarization, advantages and disadvantages. Hola, soy Miguel, y voy a hablaros de algunas ventajas y desventajas. Hello, my name is Miguel, and I am a specialist in solarization, a soil disinfection method used here in southern Spain. This method has advantages, but of course also some disadvantages. These will be presented and explained in this Best for Soil video. Solarization, alone or in combination with organic matter amendments, known as biosolarization, is a highly efficient soil disinfection method. It readily reduces the inoculum level of pathogens in soil before planting, and this is a key factor in fields with a history of soil-borne diseases. Intensive crops are susceptible to suffer attack from soil-borne pathogens and nematodes, and it's quite common that multiple species may be present in unbalanced soils. Solarization and biosolarization have advantages, as both techniques have broad range activity, thus the level of protection for the next crop is high. Compared with chemical or steaming disinfection techniques, solarization has a reduced cost with good efficacy. Other advantages compared to conventional fumigants is the absence of residual contaminants. An application interval time before planting is not necessary, thus allowing to reduction in fallow periods. Solarization and biosolarization are natural methods permitted for all types of certified production systems, including organic agriculture. In addition, biosolarization contributes to reduce the waste generated in farm as plant debris can be used as organic matter for biosolarization, so recirculating the biomass on the farm. However, there are some disadvantages associated with solarization. Very specific conditions are required to obtain efficient results, mainly high temperature and sunny days, that will not always correspond with fallow periods in temperate areas. Moreover, this period must span more than four weeks and ideally reach six weeks. The duration may need to be further extended if a cover crop or green manure is going to be used for biosolarization. Solarization is a practice tailored for greenhouse crops. Big open fields will require high amounts of plastic films, which will be exposed to wind, birds and other animals. However, as greenhouses are completely closed during solarization, it avoids the aforementioned issues. Despite the fact that plastic for solarization is suitable for recycling, plastic in general is a controversial input for any human activity, including agriculture. Another disadvantage of solarization is the effect on beneficial organisms. Most of the beneficial fungi will reduce their presence in solarized soils, but some beneficial bacteria will remain or even increase their populations. Additionally, leaching of minerals or pollutants can create a serious problem, so it is extremely important to control the supply of water to wet the soil before covering. However, the application of water over soil saturation is undesirable.